I am delighted to welcome Yvette Campbell and Sarah Buchbinder from Meetings Made Easy. Uh, good afternoon. Hey, how you doing? So, ladies, we are at Connects 2021, or you are, I'm not, <laughs> at, uh, at Tampa Convention Center. How exciting is it to be back at the show? And uh, maybe I'll start with you, Yvette. Well, it's, it's amazing to be back and to see so many people here, first of all. And, um, you know, we've had our first round of appointments this morning. So people internationally are here as well. Oh, which excellent. Is for us, because we do a lot of international business. Sure. Uh, we each are brokers and we have our own groups that we take care of. So it's been amazing to be back and see so many people interacting with each other face to face. And Sarah, just um, can you tell me a little bit about, or tell the viewers a little bit about the business, please? Yeah, so Meetings Made Easy is a group of um, former meeting planners and former hotel salespeople who got together to basically help other meeting planners, help anyone having to book uh, meeting space, convention space, events. Uh, we're just a resource for our clients. So. Uh, it's really great to come to something like this because we can meet with so many different types of vendors and partners between, you know, AV, hotels, conference centers, uh, educational sure. sessions, um, entertainment activities, uh, you know, activations, anything so that we can kind of build this uh, resource space for our, for our clients and for our partners. Yvette, just talking about the business, obviously, you know, the last 18 months have been incredibly difficult. I'm sure that's an understatement. How has the business adapted during that period? And what are you now talking to people about at the event that maybe you didn't offer before? Well, we're definitely talking about different things on contracts. I mean, that's the most important part now. I mean, we've seen what we've gone through through the pandemic. So we're also we're talking to people about, you know, uh, labor situations at hotels because we know there are problems with getting people back to work. So we want to bring our business but we also want to make sure we're getting taken care of. So sure. we look at clauses in our contracts. Um, that's one really important part that we are doing. We're also looking at the facilities we're going to, the um, safety, how they're taking care of their clients. These are the things that we do on our site tours. And we have done that before in the past, but we're doing it a little more intricate, uh, you know, more in detail. Sure. So, yeah. And um, Sarah, obviously, as a business and organization, you've attended Connect, I, th I believe, many times. Yes. Why is it such an important event in the industry calendar? So, especially after the year or a year and a half that we've had, uh, when there was so much up in the air, we were so unsure about which way our meeting's going to go. What does that new normal really mean? Um, I think it's so important for us as meeting brokers to attend something as an attendee and to see what it's like from the point of view of an attendee to see, you know, sure. what's working, what's not working, what are some great ideas that we can bring to our clients, um, what are other people doing? But like Yvette said, one of the most important things that we do is make sure that our clients are protected in their contracts. And, and you know, we've been doing a lot of um, updating our clauses and, and kind of shifting meetings to make sure that they can meet safely. And so for us, it's a great way to see how are people actually meeting safely. And, you know, this morning we had our, our first round of appointments, as Yvette said. Um, I've got 47 appointments, so I've got a full wow. schedule. Um, <laughs> 47, and I think that 40 of them at least were ones that I requested that I wanted specifically to meet with, and then the other seven are are people that maybe I wouldn't have thought to meet with, but, you know, in the past, I've had kind of random selections added, and they've turned out to be hotels sure. that I never really knew of, that I ended up making contracts with, or uh, partnerships that I was able to build and bring back to my clients as a resource, so it's so great to be able to have this face-to-face, -face. you know, even sure. with a mask. Um, it's great to see, you know, the bottom half of people, which you can't do right now because you're on sure. Zoom. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we, there are people that I actually met face-to-face -face today at this Connect that I've been working with for three years that I've never met face-to-face. -face. And it wow. makes such a difference to kind of have that, have that connection. Sure. Um, I also brought some of my clients here because it's really important for me that they get the opportunity to, to see things and get ideas for their conferences and be inspired uh, and also make all these connections for themselves. So it's such a great, it's a lot packed into a very short amount of time uh, that it's, it's super valuable, not just for us, but for our clients. I guess also it's good for new business to generate new inquiries, people that you've never met. 
Yeah. yeah, so yeah, definitely. And I mean, it's not only in the meeting time that we are meeting new people, you know, there's also booths here where we can step up to let's say we want to go to Florida, but we haven't seen everyone that we wanted to meet with in Florida, we can step up to their booth and meet a slew of people from Miami to, you know, wherever in Florida, if you want to go to Fort Lauderdale, whatever, you know, Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of people here from Tampa, and, yeah. and the booths, and the dinners, and the yeah. you know, the, the breakfast, yeah. and the happy hours, and all the different activities that they have set up for us. And and everyone wants to, you know, everyone can go based on their own comfort level, and I think that's so important. Um, the one-on-one -on -one appointments, you know, we get to kind of request who we'd like to meet with, um, yeah. and Connect is really great at making sure you can meet with as many as you can. And then if you can't meet with someone that you wanted to during your booth time. There's plenty of, um, of time in between where there are educational sessions, uh, just time to kind of wander around and, and make sure that you make all those connections that you wanted to. Well, even, sure. even just getting on the bus, you know, you yes. get to sit next to people you wouldn't expect to meet. Uh, last night I sat next to a young magician. Um, would you say then like events are back? Do you think it's pretty similar to previous years? Um, I don't think things will ever be exactly the same as they were in previous years, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Sure. Um, I, we've all, gained new talents and skills and experiences throughout the pandemic that we now are coming out of it with more tools in our toolbox than we had before and i think that you know meetings in person will never go away you know there's even we never get to see each other necessarily in person she's in detroit i'm in new jersey and this gives us the opportunity to get together and to have that one to one, -one, 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 -one time and it's invaluable our clients are saying you know they're eager to go back they're eager to go back safely, and this is giving them a chance to see how it could work and to you know, see what opportunities there are out there. So it's not exactly the same as it used to be, but I think that's the point of meetings. Meetings aren't the same as they used to be, you know, six months ago, a year ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So it's just another step in the evolution.